Hi, hi, nine viewers. Let's continue with our web series of talking about male factor infertility. So we spoke about what causes male factor infertility. We did touch upon the lifestyle factors and what could potentially bring a man's sperm count low. But also important and most of the time frustrating is, is there a treatment? Will every man with a low sperm count end up getting an IVF or a test tube baby process or are there situations where nothing can be done and is, has the man or the couple come to the end of the journey? There's never a concept of coming to the end of the journey. You just got to explore for options because thanks to the advancing science and technology, this immense research and development which has helped us with newer treatment and newer modalities of manage, managing a man's fertility issue. So what's important is what is causing the low sperm count. There are certain medicines which can help you but are they really indicated and this is where your doctor can really help you understand the problem and help you also with the right medication at the right time. But once you've started with medication, the time period what we should be waiting is a maximum of three months. In three months, if there's an improvement, well, you could go with the traditional, simple, natural way of conception. But beyond that, if it's not happening, you've got to be moving ahead and seeing what else has to be done. If there are any surgical problems, there is a particular situation called varicocele, which is a blood flow defect. So simple correction of the varicocele through a very small surgery could help improve the sperm counts. That is what finally will help us have a natural conception. At the end, if nothing has worked, that is where we go towards something called as ART, Assisted Reproductive Technologies. So in this, primarily there are two ways. There is something called as an IUI, intrauterine insemination or IVF, which is in vitro fertilization. IUI. In an IUI, what happens is the woman is made to uh, produce the egg or the oocyte. And on the day when she ovulates, when the egg is released from uh, the ovary, we take the man's sample, we prepare it we clean it, we take the best quality sperms and we go all the way through the uterus and we replace these uh, washed sperm cells near to the oocyte. So that is what will help a better interaction and a better chance to conceive. An IUI can give you a chance of pregnancy of around 10 to 20 percent over and above your natural conception. So in people where a natural attempt has failed, we do try and consider if an IUI can be tried. When an IUI fails, that is when as a last resort, we go towards IVF, which is a test tube baby process, wherein we get the eggs out of the woman's body, we take the sperm sample, we create the embryos, we create the life outside in a test tube, we then take the best quality embryo and put that back to the woman's uterus which will help the woman conceive. So uh, if naturally if you found it difficult to conceive, do not get disheartened. You got to see your doctor and see if treatments like IUI or IVF can help you and this can maximize your chance of conception. Thank you so much for viewing Hi9.